Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by a victorious Royston Barney Smith once again. Got the rounds in there, a good learning fight. Good, good learning fight. Um, looking a bit too much for the count now this time, but what can you do? I, I was looking to get another four rounds, st four first round stoppage. Um, it didn't come, but it was a good learning fight. Good six round underneath the belt, and I can't wait to get back out again. Positive that you're coming out of the ring and you can immediately see what you've done and wrong in there, and you're already looking to put it right going into the gym on Monday, I'm sure. Yeah, because where, where my mindset is and where I want to be, I shouldn't be making them little mistakes. Like I want to be hitting everything on point on, on every fight, every round and every second of the fight. I want to be perfect in every, in, every, in every part of it. And I know you can't be because you're only human, but I do try in my best to, to do what I can. Now you mentioned early on, early fights, you were blowing them out in the, in the first round. And although that's good to get those victories under the belt, you don't really learn a huge amount from them. To go in there with somebody who's going to tuck up and they're looking to survive the rounds, do you learn a lot more from that? Yeah, sure, because you can learn about how good your engine is, what your, slot, like your shot selection is, how to break someone down, and it, it, and it, uh, and it was a good learning fight. In terms of your progression, you're still so young, just 19 years of age, and so much to achieve in this game. But to get these opportunities and to be where you are, how proud of what, you, what you've achieved so far? Oh, like I'm amazed by myself, like, like every day, like training with the likes of Ben Davison, Lee Wiley and, and, and Barry Smith, just being in their company and plus everyone in the gym, like Lee Wood, Luke Patton, Luke McCormack and, and all the other good fighters in the gym, like Chris Congo and that, they're established fighters. And uh, it's, good, it's good to be in that like, environment and it's, and it's good to watch and learn off the best. Now you mentioned a youth world title in your previous interview. Someone that was sat right in front of me was Dennis McCann. He's obviously achieved that as well. Yeah. Noisy at ringside, it has to be said as well. Um, is that a real ambition of yours and something you set your sights on quite early? Yeah, sure. That, well, that, like, that's, my, that's my goal. That's what I want to get before the end of the year and that's what we're trying to focus on, getting one of them in the bay. I mean, obviously that's the thing that's nearest in your sights, but looking a little bit further ahead, what do you want to achieve by the time you're 23, 24, do you really think you can be moved that quick, that early? Yeah, f for sure. Like, you're forgetting I I've started, well, not forgetting you, obviously, no, but I turned pro when I was 18, so that would be five or six years, plenty enough long time. I'd be a, a good, mature man. Like, I'm a, like I'm a very mature 19-year-old, like, physically and, and mentally. I do understand boxing. Like, I get it. I've got the strength. Like, I've got everything to come with it. And, um, and, and, I, and I will be be up there or will, without a shadow of a doubt be world champion before I'm 21, 22. Right, what's the plan then? Now when are we going to see you next out? Next out will be in the next next month or the month after that. Right, good stuff. Cheers for your time and best of luck for the next one. Thank you very much. Catch you.